This newly formed Coronavirus Task Force is meeting at the state capitol right now as we speak here at 5 o'clock on this Friday night. This is a team that the governor announced today. They're working with the federal health officials to make sure that Georgia is prepared if we happen to see cases here. 11 Live's Deborah Tuff talked with the governor. Deborah, the governor certainly knows people are worried and getting more so every day. Yes, right, Cheryl. He's trying to calm everyone's fears. The first one saying that there are no confirmed cases, coronavirus cases in Georgia right now. But Governor Kemp says the task force will help the state prepare in the worst case scenario. Now, 18 people sit on the force, health care advisors, directors, the school superintendent, UGA's chancellor, even the GM of Hartsfield Jackson Airport. Right now, Georgia is focusing on monitoring at risk travelers with epidemiologists at the ready 24 7 to help health care workers, excuse me, identify if a patient may have the virus. But the Georgia Department of Public Health says it's been affected by faulty test kits from the CDC. Right now, the state has to send lab samples to the CDC and it can take four to five days to get results. Georgia hopes to be able to do its own testing in the next two weeks out of the 10 tests sent to the CDC so far. None have been positive, but the state says it's ready if that should change. Will there be cases? We have no way of knowing when or if we will have COVID-19 cases. What we do know is that we have a robust plan in place. Now, some Democrats have expressed concern that proposed budget cuts could impact how the state responds to coronavirus. We're going to talk a little bit. We're going to talk to them at six and hear the governor's response. 